What if I told you that the next frontier of warfare will not be fought just on the seas, but in the space between machines? What if the outcome of global conflicts no longer depended on who had the most powerful fleet, but on who controlled information itself? The US Navy's Project 33 isn't just about ships, submarines, or aircraft. It's about creating an invisible web that will link every component of the US military, transforming warfare forever. But could this bold new plan be America's answer to China's rise as a naval superpower? Or is it opening Pandora's box, with all of our military systems becoming vulnerable to cyber attacks and AI errors? In this video, we'll break down exactly what Project 33 is, how it could reshape the future of warfare, and the potential ripple effects on global security. Stay tuned, because this isn't just military strategy. This is the blueprint for the future of power itself. For decades, the U.S. Navy has ruled the seas, projecting power from the Pacific to the Persian Gulf. But today, the threat landscape is rapidly evolving. China has the world's largest navy, and it's advancing rapidly in areas like artificial intelligence, hypersonic missiles, and cyber warfare. Russia, too, is investing heavily in underwater capabilities and cyber operations designed to disable U.S. military systems. These threats are not just about numbers. They're about information dominance. Whoever controls the flow of information can predict, preempt, and neutralize enemy actions before they even occur. This is the new battlefield, and Project 33 is America's answer to it. But why now? Why is the Navy making this radical shift? Project 33 is part of a larger initiative known as Project Overmatch, which seeks to create a real-time data ecosystem that integrates everything from ships, submarines, aircraft, to unmanned drones and satellites. It's not just about putting more boots or boats on the ground. It's about making each unit smarter, faster, and more efficient by connecting them through advanced AI and cloud-based technology. At its core, Project 33 will turn the Navy into a hyper-connected digital force. Let's break it down. Imagine a future battle where an enemy warship is detected by an unmanned drone 200 miles away. The data is instantly shared with a submarine, which relays targeting information to a guided missile destroyer, launching a strike within minutes. All of this happens autonomously, without needing human intervention, thanks to AI decision-making algorithms. But this is just the beginning. Project 33 isn't just about faster communication. It's about data fusion, pulling in satellite intelligence, cyber signals, and even social media data to create a complete real-time picture of the battlefield. The U.S. Navy, in essence, will be waging war through machine learning, AI, and big data. To understand the significance of Project 33, we need to look back at how the U.S. Navy has adapted to challenges in the past. During the Cold War, the U.S. faced off against a vastly larger Soviet fleet. Instead of matching the Soviets ship for ship, the Navy developed revolutionary systems like the Aegis Combat System and nuclear-powered submarines, technologies that fundamentally changed naval warfare. Now, as China builds the largest Navy in the world, the U.S. faces a similar choice. Rather than simply expanding its fleet, the Navy is betting on information superiority to stay ahead. It's a high-risk, high-reward strategy, but history shows that innovation, not size, has always been the key to victory. Here's where things get interesting. While Project 33 promises to give the U.S. Navy a massive edge, it also introduces unprecedented risks. By relying so heavily on AI and interconnected systems, the Navy could become vulnerable to cyber attacks. If an adversary manages to breach this network, they could disable entire fleets in real time. Another concern is ethical. How much decision-making power should be handed over to machines? AI-driven weapon systems could respond to threats faster than humans, but they also lack the moral and ethical considerations that commanders need in a complex battlefield. Despite these concerns, the rewards are undeniable. Project 33 could establish the U.S. Navy as not just the largest, but the most advanced and capable naval force in history ensuring American dominance for decades to come. So, what's the global impact of Project 33? 
For one, it will likely escalate the arms race in AI and naval technologies. Countries like China and Russia are already pouring billions into their naval expansion programs, and they will likely accelerate their efforts in response. In particular, China's ambitions in the South China Sea could face new challenges as the U.S. deploys its enhanced networked fleet in the region. Project 33 also signals a new era of joint military operations. The seamless integration of air, sea, land, and space assets will allow the U.S. to dominate in multi-domain warfare, a critical capability in conflicts like the Indo-Pacific or Eastern Europe. Finally, the diplomatic implications are massive. By ensuring that the U.S. Navy remains a step ahead technologically, allied nations in NATO and the Indo-Pacific can breathe a sigh of relief while adversaries like Iran and North Korea are left grappling with how to counter this unprecedented technological advantage. Project 33 isn't just a new defense strategy, it's a bet on the future of warfare, a future where decisions are made at the speed of light and conflicts are won before they begin. The Navy is building something that could protect the US and its allies from the most complex threats of the 21st century. But with great power comes great risk. So, what do you think? Is Project 33 the future of naval warfare, or does it open a Pandora's box of vulnerabilities? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. How should the US handle the rise of China's naval power? The best comments will be featured in our next video.